Okay, so let's uh, try this one. But instead of reacting two moles of oxygen, let's react five moles of oxygen. Okay, see the energy that we get from reacting five moles of oxygen. And, of course, I'm going to need my calculator to do this. This is my typical first problem experience every day, or every class period, looking for my calculator. Um, so, what does this reaction tell us? Well, this reaction is called the thermodynamic reaction equation, okay? Because it's got some thermodynamic data. Okay, what it's telling us here is that one of the products of this reaction is 802 kilojoules of energy. Okay, so 802 kilojoules of energy is being released. You can think of it like the change in E is negative 802 kilojoules. Okay, why is it negative? Because it was a product, right? And if it's a product, that means it's being released. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so what did we say? Instead of two moles of oxygen are reacting, we've got five moles, right? 5.00, so we can have three signals. Okay, so what is the change in energy if we've got five moles of oxygen? Well, we've got this thermodynamic data that gives us this conversion factor, okay? Remember, stoichiometric relationships for chemical equations, balance chemical equations, you guys recall that, right? So, um, in this case, we've got a stoichiometric relationship of two moles of oxygen to negative 802 kilojoules of energy. Is everybody okay with that? So that's a conversion factor. So effectively, what we can say is that if we want to know the energy of 5 moles of oxygen, well, 5.00 moles O2, um, moles O2 on the bottom, of course, and negative 802 kilojoules of energy. So now just 5 times negative 802 divided by 2. So, well, the 3 sig digs, negative 2.00 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3 kilojoules of energy. Okay, is everybody okay with that? Are there any questions on that one? Make sense? Can we kill it? <laughs> <laughs>